Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today we continue our journey as we travel around art, an epic 54,000 piece jigsaw puzzle from Graphica. If you haven't seen the other videos I've done in this series, I'll leave all the links in the description below. I suggest you watch at least the unboxing video just to get an overview of the entire jigsaw puzzle. Today we are on to bag 25. We only have three bags left, which is section seven. It's an along the top section, and it actually is just one large big painting by Peter Brugel the Elder, who we've seen quite a few times in this jigsaw puzzle already. My idea is probably sort the frame in the beige, and I might actually try to do them early on, the beige and the the beige in the frame just to get them out of the way but because it's quite a busy puzzle as i'm sorting i'll probably assemble it so i might actually have quite a bit of this done before i completely finish sorting all the pieces it might be tricky with a lot of the white snow pieces they might have to wait till the end but it's called the census at bethlehem from What's it from? 1566? 15, 15, 15, 1566. So it's quite interesting. I can't wait to learn the story behind this uh, painting. As with all the other videos, I'll do a voiceover and we'll talk about the painting and what it represents. If we pull up our fuel, full uh, panoramic poster of the entire jigsaw puzzle, look at it. We just have these three sections at the top here left so this is this one right up here lots of white i hope that it'll show up nicely on camera i'm sure i'll enjoy it because it's quite busy then once we're done this one we will jump over to this beautiful colorful one over here can't wait to do that one although lots of beige not looking forward to it and then we will finish off again with that one so yes look at this the census at bethlehem by peta Brigade the elder Oh, so for the love of puzzles, and with only three bags left to go, let's get to working on bag 25, which is section seven, as we travel around art. There is only one large painting in this section of the puzzle, and again, it's by the Flemish Renaissance artist Peter Brugel the Elder, from 1566, and it's titled The Census at Bethlehem. I've also seen it referred to as the numbering at Bethlehem. Now, once again, after his death, his son, Peter Brugel the Younger, and his studio made dozens of copies of the painting. Now, one of which actually sold at auction for $10 million in 2013. I believe the painting depicted in this jigsaw puzzle is actually one of a copy. That was probably done before 1600. And this copy, I believe, is held at the Bridgman Art Library in the United Kingdom. The original, which is signed, measures approximately 116 by 164.5 centimeters in dimension. So it's quite large. And from what I can tell, the original is currently held and exhibited at the Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium in Brussels and they acquired it in 1902. You can definitely see differences between the original and the copy, which I believe is depicted in the jigsaw puzzle. As he often did, Bruegel treats a biblical story, here the census of Quirinius, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, as a contemporary event. And once again, reference to particular political events have been adduced. In this case, the severity of the Spanish administration in the Southern Netherlands. However, Brugel may well be making a more general criticism of the bureaucratic methods. The events depicted are described in Luke 2, 1-5, which reads, And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city, Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. It is one of the first paintings in Western art to feature a significant snow landscape and was painted in the aftermath of the winter of 1565, which was one of the harshest winters on record. 
The painting shows Bethlehem as a Flemish village in winter at sundown. Now, in the original, you can see the sun setting, but in this uh, jigsaw puzzle, this image, you don't actually see the sun setting. A group of people is gathered at a building on the left, having their details taken by, down by a scribe. A sign bearing the Hasburg double-headed eagle is visible on the building. Other people are making their way to the same building, including the figures of Joseph and the pregnant Virgin Mary on a donkey. A pig is being slaughtered, though of course such an event would never have occurred in Jewish Bethlehem. People are going about their daily business in the cold. Children are shown playing with toys on the ice and having snowball fights. At the very center of the painting is a spoked wheel, sometimes interpreted as being a reference to the Wheel of Fortune. To the right, a man in a small hut is shown holding a clapper, a warning to keep away from leprosy. Leprosy was endemic in that part of Europe when the painting was created. This is really hard to make out in both the original painting and on the jigsaw puzzle. There is a begging bowl in front of the hut, and in the background, men drink at a makeshift bar, and in the distance are a well-kept church and a crumbling castle, and that castle is based on the towers and gates of Amsterdam. there we go another section of the jigsaw puzzle is done this big beautiful painting I am convinced that this is the copy that the Sun produced not the original in fact when I look at images of the original online it's much darker so it's probably better that they use this one in the jigsaw puzzle because of the colors and the brightness of it compared to the original it was much easier to see and to make out I still find it interesting that his son produced so many copies of his work. And yes, they're slightly changed and different, and they sell still for millions and millions of dollars. Oh, goodness. I can't remember if we've seen any original work from Peter Bruegel the Younger, the son. Something I'll have to go Google and look up, like what did he produce that was original to him? Well, it only took me 10 hours and 40 minutes and now we only have two bags to go. And I'm not trying to rush this. It's just, it was, it was one of those paintings with so much narrative that I loved it. I took each piece, looked at it, figured out where it went, and I quickly, very quickly assembled the entire center of the puzzle. I thought it would be more difficult and that I'd end up doing the frame and the beige earlier on and leave the main part of the puzzle to finish up. But no, I was just on a roll. And so I ended up finishing with the frame. I did enjoy that where there were very few beige pieces. <laughs> so that was a nice break. Now the next section, I pulled it out and I looked at it. Might not be as bad as I think. I think it could end up being one of my favorite sections of the entire jigsaw puzzle. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, that's it. Just two more to go. Can you believe it? Oh, goodness. And then in the new year, the excitement of compiling a summary video, big time-lapse videos, and then eventually at the end of February trying to display the entire jigsaw puzzle. That is going to be just mesmerizing. I'm going to absolutely love it. So stay tuned for those things to come. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao!